Reads. Chapter 3, My Sensei and I. Authoress's note. Hi, readers. I'm here writing another story. Obviously, haha. Anyway, I hope you enjoy- Blah, blah, blah. It's the same author's note from the previous two chapters. Chapter 3, Damned Sweat. Out. Oh. Damned sweat. Macbeth references for the win. H have you seen Kakashi Pion? Hinata asked Shizune, who was currently checking up on her baby. Shizune giggled with Kakashi's new name, which was also giggling somehow. I think he's having training with... Shizune was cut off by Hinata's disappointed look. I can understand being cut off by, like, an angry look or something, but a disappointed look, I don't know. That, that just strikes me as sad. Like, you must really be a basket case if a disappointed look cuts you off. He promised to be with me today, she said, stuttering gone, disappointment. Well, it is so obvious at the moment. I think my disappointment's pretty obvious, too. Hinata is in her sixth month of pregnancy now, mood swings much far worse than ever. Kakashi walked calmly over with his Icha Icha book with his left hand. Wow, he was walking with just one hand? I can't do that. When he caught a glimpse of a very pregnant Hinata with a frown on her face. F asterisk CK. Dude, we all know that word. You know, you're allowed to say it. It's the internet. Kakashi then hid his perverted book in his pocket and walked to his wife real gentle. Th that should be an adverb there, really? He's gonna be sorry. Can we talk for a minute about how every pregnant woman ever is portrayed as a huge bitch on like every media, like, you know, television, fic, books, you name it. Why is that? Pretty sure not every woman reacts the same way to pregnancy. Kakashi looked then at Shizune, who was shaking her head. The sweaty Kakashi sighed and walked over to Hinata, who was busy biting her lips. I guess it takes up a lot of her attention. They were able to get home with doing nothing more than walk. <laughs> they were both silent. Kakashi, on the other hand, was sweating terribly, not only from the training, but in thinking how to please the can't-get-any-more-angry Hinata. I haven't really seen any evidence that she's angry. The only reason I know she's angry is because you keep telling me, author. Ever heard of show, don't tell? Hinata opened the door and sighed. Now the conversation is starting. Oh, that's what all those double apostrophes are about. I was so confused. Kakashi, she called, sitting on their futon. It wasn't a simple talk. She was greatly disappointed. Kakashi! This time he felt like guilt was digging soil for his death. W what? I'm sorry. I really forgot, he said, pulling her with him, curling up on the bed. Oh, why don't you take a shower first? Hinata asked silently. H how do you ask something silently? H how? Do you just, like, use your face or whatever? Like, I wish I could do that. That sounds like a useful talent. Oh, how he was guilty. I know I am at fault, but Hinata... Please, Kakashi-sensei, please take a bath first! Hinata kept her cool. She did not want to break out at the moment. I, I think you've got more pressing problems than pimples. Try saying that three times fast. She can't stand the smell of the sweat. Noses, uh, pregnant noses. Faces, uh, face-palmed faces. He- I don't like your smell! That's a fantastic comeback. I'm gonna say that the next time someone offends me. Oh yeah? Well, I don't like your smell. Please! Take a bath! Her stuttering was far gone. Politeness? Cross that out. This colloquial writing style might be charming if the writer was in any way competent enough to handle it well. Simple. She was not as disappointed as she was now. I don't even know what that means. Literally, she hates his smell, period, comma. You can't just double up on incompatible punctuation, you punctuation abuser. Damned sweat. I'm sorry, I wasn't able to go with you in the checkup, Kakashi said, drying his hair. Wow, that was a really fast shower. Hinata smiled and sighed. It's fine now, uh, Kakashi. Kakashi silently cursed. Heavens, he was good at apologizing. Because <laughs> silent cursing is the best way to apologize. Kakashi stole a peck on her lips and helped her very round tummy. How did he help it exactly? He not to had that look in her eyes. Ooh, that kind of look. Okay, I'm getting uncomfortable again. Kakashi, can you please uh, wash again? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's okay. Kakashi frowned. Now this was not funny. Yeah, you got that right. Well, that is the last chapter that's posted right now, I'm sorry to say. Um, I hope you enjoyed listening to me prattle as much as I enjoyed the prattling. So, um, until next time on, uh, Wingsong Halo's Sporking, goodbye.